Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So I just take this uh, few hours to review a few products that you might find on the channel and uh, happy with most of them. One of them let me down a little bit, uh, just a little bit, just two centimeters <laughs> wide and this one here it's a no buy. Um, I tell you why I did buy this thing. It's already open, I tested it out for a few weeks now. Uh, not intensive weeks because I just wanted one feature airplay if you want this to airplay uh, your Mac device to to your TV choose something else don't spend money on this uh, this is what somewhere about 20 euros and uh, I just wanted the airplay capability as they said on the website and all the advertisements and everything um, Wi-Fi, DNLA, AirPlay, Miracast and so on and so forth. There are a lot of devices, I will post the link exactly to this product that I purchased. I already left the feedback there, um, really disappointed with the product, no point in, in, in returning it. Um, actually I didn't get any message from, from the seller itself, it could say, hey, if you're not happy we'll receive it. But um, not worried, it was cheap, it was around 20 years and I was a bit, uh, hey, for this ship, uh, can it be good? I went to YouTube and searched a few videos of similar products, um, none of them with the AirPlay uh, capabilities. I took the risk, I bought it, and really disappointed because AirPlay doesn't work at all. Um, transmitting, and I'm, I'm going to set up the, the, this next and move the camera around so you can see it. Um, all I wanted was a way to uh, play the iPhotos, uh, iPhoto app uh, on my Mac, on my living room TV, which is about 10 meters uh, away from, from my office. Um, and just because it has some, we've got the organization of our photos, and I'll do a video about that in the next couple of days. Um, and I wanted to show when my mom comes here, or my mother-in-law, well, the grandparents of my, of my children, or friends, or things like that, I would want to uh, show them a few pictures on the fly without having to render any video with the pictures. I know how to do that, that's, that's part of my job. But one of the great features that iPhoto has is capability of a simple slideshow on the fly. You just select the, the, the face of the, the person and press play and it, it does its job. And what I wanted to do is airplay with one of these things. I did uh, for about Apple TV. I didn't bought it for two reasons. I really don't like the Apple TV kind of system. I, I don't like iTunes to be honest. There are some great apps on, on, on the Mac side of things and iTunes personally I don't like it. Personally my, my brother loves it. Uh, I can't seem to like it, the workflow of that. I find it messy. I, but doesn't matter. It's my opinion. There are a lot of people that loves iTunes and use it and works for them. For me it doesn't work. So I thought well probably buy a cheaper device just for airplay and that being said let's take a look how this thing um, the, <laughs> this thing doesn't work okay and I'm gonna set up the scene and, and take you around this in a few seconds hey guys so I just set up uh, everything and sorry for the awkward angle <laughs> that you have now but uh, it's the best I can to, to show you um, how this thing doesn't work so I'm gonna bring the camera a little bit more over here sorry for this movement and let me show you okay so this screen over here is the actual Mac um, in this case is through VGA or right yeah VGA um, and this one here is the easy cast uh, device that we were just uh, looking at this is actually the Wi-Fi or wireless antenna of the device which is connected on the back to this LG monitor uh, through USB uh, sorry through HDMI and um, so if we look here uh, just as a quick notice it has a lot of lag and um, hopefully you can see right on your um, on your screen and I'm gonna try to zoom a little bit and really sorry about this but so that you can see as best as possible 
that the quality, even with static, uh, it's really, really bad. And bear in mind that the antenna is right over here. Uh, it's not two meters away, it's not ten meters away, it's right over here. And the only thing that I wanted to this device to do is when I open iPhoto, um, let me turn down the volume of my stereo and the AC. I've recorded a few videos with the AC on, and if it makes a background noise, I apologize for that. But um, if I select, uh, for instance, my oldest son and press play for a quick slideshow, which is one of the features that we love, um, both me and my wife and my kid as well, <laughs> is that we can play a quick slideshow. And as you can see, hopefully you can see it here, it plays just smoothly and nice as we want it. Here, once again, with the Wi-Fi antenna right on top of the uh, Wi-Fi of the Mac Mini, uh, quality is horrible. I have turned out the audio. With audio, it's just unbearable um, because it, it lags a lot and it's constantly um, lagging and lagging and, and stopping. Uh, so my opinion is, hey guys, if you're not ready to airplay, don't advertise it. Don't don't sell it for airplay. Sell sell for other um, for other capabilities, but definitely not airplay and hopefully you can see the difference um, there hopefully um, one being very very laggy and the other one if you don't see it well you have to take my word for it I'm very disappointed with it uh, to be honest and um, it was the only thing that I wanted was airplay so <laughs> it doesn't work uh, let's just stop the slideshow and um, I wouldn't mind a, as you can see, that it's just stood there, the image. Uh, and this happens a lot, even more critical. And uh, when you take this to a meter long, two meters, uh, I don't know how long my living room is, but less than 10 meters maybe, um, it will not even capture it. So no chance of, of uh, and that would be the point of, of um, transmitting through airplay because if I had my Mac Mini on the living room I wouldn't need uh, the device I would just connect it directly to through HDMI and that was it um, so the quality of this it's unbearable uh, I, I was saying I wouldn't mind a uh, a little bit of, of lag but um, constant lag if you know what I mean a five seconds delay not lag a delay uh, five seconds delay or ten seconds delay I wouldn't mind of that and um, as long as after the buffering because obviously this doesn't have any 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 buffer um, at least in my opinion it doesn't have any buffer um, if it had a buffer of 10 seconds or 15 or 20 seconds it wouldn't matter to me I could wait those 20 seconds to load it up but after that it would play smoothly then it would be great at this point this device is just not worth it um, it's cheap it is but not worth it and if you go to the link where I paste the, the price uh, you will see my name there uh, with the feedback and um, I cannot give good feedback for this product at least for the, the capability that I bought which was airplay okay guys so as you saw, uh, everything, uh, it doesn't work, uh, plays really bad and it's right next to the device that is capturing the, the airplay. Uh, when I bring it to the living room, uh, it doesn't even show, uh, simple as that. So the best option if you are looking for airplay will be an Apple TV or something similar uh, that you can really wire um, your, um, your network and take the signal there. Uh, this easy cast is not it. I hope that this overview of the product uh, unfortunately is not happy. I would prefer to say, hey, it's a great product, it works and, and so on. 
that's not the case, it doesn't work. So if you are looking for the same as I do, AirPlay, this is not it for you. For the other apps transmitting from your tablet to your TV, yeah, it does a job. Uh, I did try that, it's not the main function that I look for because I have smart TVs, if I want to watch YouTube on my TV I just uh, grab the, the remote and, and play around with the actual TV itself, it's hardwired uh, on the network so fast delivers, I don't see the point of, of this for myself. Uh, if you are looking for that to, to transmit from your tablet or from your smartphone to the TV, yeah, will do its job, but for air, AirPlay, Take a good look at this, do not buy it. At least that's my advice. Um, if you buy it, <laughs> it's at your own risk. Okay guys, so hope it was useful for you. Uh, a waste of, <laughs> of money for me, but hey, that's the risk that we take sometimes. Uh, if it was helpful, don't forget thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber yet, please hit that button. It really helps us uh, to make more videos and keep motivating it. And, and give this experience with this great community. Okay, thanks for watching and bye-bye. Hey guys, so just a few more seconds of your attention. I really apologize, I did make a big basic mistake, a very stupid mistake. I had my microphone that you see here for the last four videos that I made and the mistake was I forgot to plug it into my camera and I just realized that on the last uh, video where I did the the review of the EZI cast, which is a product, but it doesn't matter. You already watched the video probably if you didn't uh, just browse the channel. And uh, the thing is, I cannot afford to make the all four videos again. <laughs> uh, I will not have the time for it, but I would like to apologize for the crappy sound that you will hear, which is from the camera itself uh, instead of the microphone. It was a really basic and stupid mistake having the microphone plugged in for all the videos and the end of the microphone not plugged into my camera. So once again guys, i really sorry for that and um, hopefully you enjoy the content of the videos even if the sound is really crappy, at least I, I don't like it. And as soon as I placed the, the, the card inside my computer, I watched and, and heard the sound and didn't like it. So uh, don't want to take more of your time, sorry about that. I will try not to forget that for the next time I record the video and uh, hey, it happens. If it was for a client, it would be unforgivable. Uh, if it is for my channel, it's on my free time. So I have this uh, flexibility and even though I don't like crappy sound on my videos, uh, I will upload them as they are and hopefully you will find the content useful and hopefully you can apologize me. If not, this videos, these four videos deserve, just for the sound quality, a thumbs down and, uh, well, it's, it's a mistake we do in life and <laughs> this is one of them, not very, uh, very critic, but um, it ruined my audio. So, apologize for that once again, guys, and I will try not to forget next time. So, bye-bye.